can you just give me one thing? Just one. I just want to get better. And he said, absolutely, buddy, have a seat. In my head, I'm like, dude, where was this five or 10 minutes ago? Like, I was about to walk out of your office. But I digress, never too late to give the right advice. So he says, absolutely, have a seat. And this is kind of how it went down. He said, I'm going to give you a Roosevelt quote, and this is where you need to get better. I said, okay, hit me. He goes, people don't care how much you know until they know how much you care. And he kept talking, but I went numb. I don't remember a thing that he said after that because he basically told me that my team doesn't think I care about them. And what really sucked was my heart did care, but my actions didn't show it. And all that my team cares about are my actions. I can have the best intention in the world. If I don't follow through, does it even matter? And so the inner and outer parts of my compass were out of whack is basically what was happening. I sold out. I sold out to achieve career growth. I sold out. I forgot who I was on my best day as a leader at the Clippers and promotion after promotion, money after money, title after title, LinkedIn profile looks super sexy. I was misaligned on the inside. So I'm so grateful and, and just, I just love the feedback that I got because it permanently allowed me to re-trigger my mind and go back to that leader that I knew I could be. And I basically made a commitment to myself. One of my core values is authenticity. I said, I will never sell out for another corporate goal if it misaligns with who I am on my best day. That's it. But I needed this slap in the face in order to do it.